rent means it is going to earn 73 percent of this 300 million company b is going to control 27 percent of this 300 million then now we have their respective cost so like now if you are to have this kind of calculation so company a this is campaign the strategy campaign so company a are going to make uh, of the account control in three ways either 79 75 or 73 so we're going to have here 79 percent 75 percent and uh, 20 uh, no 73 percent sorry 73 percent so of what 300 million 300 million 300 million then you subtract the cost of a, a campaign 35 million 35 million 35 million as presented in the question so this is going to give us now the contributions as follows or the profits as follows this is a 0.79 multiplied by 300 minus 35 this is 202 this is a 0.75 times 300 minus 35 this is giving us a 190 and this is 0.73 times 300 minus 35 this is giving us 184. That means I can cut, record them here 202, 190, and 184. Now I am leaving a space for company B because this time company A and company B will be making different profits and therefore we must indicate a pair for each. Then we have a, a company A. This is a now no campaign strategy. No campaign strategy. So what will happen? Now, company A, if you don't conduct any campaign, their payoffs are going to be 76%, 74%, or 72%. So this way, so 76%, 74%, or 72% of 300, 300, 300. So where we can subtract, there is no cost this time. There is no cost of campaigning, and therefore, uh, we'll just subtract zero there. This will be 0 0.76 times uh, 300. This gives us 228. This 0 0.74 times 300. This is giving us 222. And this is 0 0.72 times 300. This is giving us 216. So this will give us now uh, 228, comma, 222, comma, and 216. That is all about the profits company A is going to make should they uh, have these strategies, campaign and no campaign. What about if company A, company B now would uh, uh, continue with their investment, either 25 or so. So we can have here company B shillings 25 M in R and D. If that we invest this money, then remember as we check uh, in our payoff matrix company a uh, would would uh, control 79 percent as well as 76 percent so in this case if you are to actually calculate for company b 79 percent means company b will control 21 percent 76 percent means company b will control 25 uh no 24 percent sorry 24 percent of the market share 24 percent 300 300 minus the amount that your money that we are spending is 25 million 25 million under this uh, decision so 24 percent so what will happen let's see 0 0.21 times 300 minus 25 this is giving us 38 and uh, 0 0.24 times 300 minus 25 this is giving us 47 we come and indicate here 38 and then 47 then we call we have company b investing shillings 50m in r and d investing 50 million in r and d now if you check uh, in our zero sum uh, payoff matrix where company a will make or will control 25 75% and 74% company b shall be controlling 25% on the other hand and 26% of 300, 300, but this time, this is a uh, 50 million, 50 million to be spent. So this will give us 0.25 times 300 minus 50, giving us 25. 
and then 0.26 times 300 minus 50m this is giving us 28 so we come and transfer here 25 and then 28 then you have a company b shillings 80 million in r and d so investing 80 million in r and d now this will give will, will have Remember, company A will be controlling 73% and 72%. So that means company B will be controlling 27% and then uh, 28%. 300, 300 minus, this time is 80 million, 80 million. So we are going to have a very, very uh, small profit there, if any. 0.27 times 300 minus 80 million, that is giving us 1M. And 0.28 times uh, 300 minus 80, that is going to give us 4 million. We come and present here. This is 1 million and this is 4M. Now, <coughs> having recorded all the possible or the profits that we may make, depending with the, uh, the investment or either the campaign or no campaign and the investment company B will make, so we make, make a conclusion that it will not be possible for us to select haphazard because remember is a constant uh, sum game there is no way you can choose like for company a selling or controlling 79 percent while company b maybe they are controlling like i say 28 percent because if you do that the percentage in total will give us like a one or seven percent which is already more than a hundred percent it's not possible for you to have a total sale of 107 percent uh, which is exceeding the market uh, market so in this case we are going to make uh, some some concession here that we must select a pair that adds up to 100 percent this pair adds up to 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent 100 100 and 100 so we're going to choose the pair that is going to be favorable for all the players and the only pair that is going to be favorable for all the players is this pair this is the pair that's going to suit all the companies because company a earning to 228 million is going to be the best uh, compared to others company b earning 47 million is going to be the best for all the companies and the, uh, for, for the company b sorry among uh, or comparing with all the rest therefore this is the best and therefore what is our conclusion this is going to be our conclusion that um, the optimal optimal strategies is where company A will have no campaign, will not conduct any vigorous campaign, and company B will um, uh, company B will invest shillings twenty five million in R and D. Now with this, what is the value of the game? So therefore, value of game shall be company A two twenty eight million. Company B making for 7 million. This when you add will give us 275 million being the highest. And that is the best you can make when you make a comparison of all this.